very purpose of our life, I usually describe happiness. Reason, the future, even this afternoon, what will happen, do not know. And future, no guarantee, but our life uh, based on hope. Even present some difficulties, still with hope, our life remains. If someone completely lost hope, then that very mental attitude shortened their life. And worst case, even suicide may take place. So therefore, hope means something good. Therefore, the purpose of our life, I usually telling people, happiness is our sort of the real meaning of our life. Now happiness, the materialistic way, happiness only sensory level. Seeing something nice, hearing some beautiful music, and taste, and smell, and touch, including sex. These are materialistic sort of, or say the happiness, materialistic level happiness. These are short, not long-lasting happiness. Long-lasting happiness must develop on mental level. Now in this country, uh, one part of Sangha philosophy and then Jain philosophy, Buddhist philosophy, no creator, rather self-creation. So therefore, uh, the concept of karma also come. Everything depends on your own action, positive action, uh, virtuous action bring good, harmful, sinful action bring uh, suffering. That depends on motivation. So in this country, over 3,000 years, uh, our city already examined the ultimate source of happiness, not external, but here. Not sensorial level, but mental level. So practice of shamatha, practice of vipassana, come. So therefore, uh, and you see these things originally come from religious text. Now we should take now these things as an academic subject, not a religious subject. 